डॉक्टर स्वर्चला साइंटिफिक डायरेक्टर विद जीवा फर्टिलिटी सेंटर्स वॉट इज एम टी फॉलिकल सिंड्रोम दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन सम पेशेंट्स आस्क अस इट्स अ वेरी रेयर कंडीशन बट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इट एम टी फॉलिकल सिंड्रोम एज आई सेड इज अ रेयर कंडीशन दट अकर्स वेन एग्स फेल टू रिलीज फ्रॉम मेच्योर फॉलिकल्स ड्यूरिंग एन आईवीएफ साइकिल आईवीएफ साइकिल एज इन इन विट्रो फर्टिलाइजेशन साइकिल दिस हैपन्स डिस्पाइट एडिक्वेट ओवेर इन स्टिमुलेशन इन अदर वर्ड्स फॉलिकल्स दट आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू कंटेन अ मेच्योर एग are empty during egg retrieval during the process of ivf the exact cause of empty follicle syndrome is not yet fully understood but it may be because of a variety of factors including issues with the ovary hormonal imbalances or problems with the egg retrieval procedure itself it could also be because of improper administration of hcg hormone now this hcg hormone is very important for ivf procedure because 36 hours after this injection is administered eggs are collected women with empty follicle syndrome often have a normal hormone level normal ovarian reserve and normal follicle development during ivf stimulation however when the egg is expected to be retrieved no eggs are found in the follicles there is currently no known treatment for empty follicle syndrome and the chances of success for future ivf cycles are also uncertain however some potential strategies to consider include adjusting the medication protocol which is used for ovarian stimulation but what's important is to try to understand if proper medications were given and proper dosage was given in some instances a double human needle can be used where the follicle is flushed multiple times to see if x can be retrieved and sometimes a trigger can be given again the hcg injection that i was talking about can be administered again and 36 hours later another retrieval procedure can be attempted to see if any x can be retrieved it's very important to speak to your fertility specialist about the causes of empty follicle syndrome if you've gone through one and they can perform a thorough evaluation to determine the underlying cause and to develop a plan which will increase your chances of conception if you want to understand more about this please feel free to contact us thank you a lot of effort has gone into making this video please like and subscribe us thank you